Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, I don't know if you even saw this today because you've been sleeping. <laughs> I have been sleeping. Uh, You're right. Uh, they, threw, uh, they, t- they threw SBF in jail. Sam Bankman freed. He's been out on. Uh, I don't know who that from is. The guy from FTX Crypto Exchange, the guy who basically Ponzi schemed it up. We've talked about this about seven well, times. Well, give on the me a brief recap. Not he, for just me, but for the listener at home who was like, I don't know who you're talking Exchange, about. Crypto Exchange, and they found out it was a giant Ponzi scheme. Well, say, say it again. I mean, I can say it a third time, but the story's not going to change. <laughs> I, need, I need to know more about like the company. What did he do? He ran SFTX? Yeah, uh, okay. it's a Ponzi scheme. What was FTX? It was a crypto exchange. <laughs> it was a crypto exchange. <laughs> exactly what I just said. Yeah, I know, but it need, I just feel like we need a little bit more death position before the thing. Because I they, don't really, I really, they either like, way. What was what was, what was he? Uh, I thought he was already being locked up. Well, they had him in. Um, he he was on per not parole. He was he was waiting uh, trial, but he was on on bail. But okay. there's already been like he was supposed to not like use the internet. He was at his parents' house, and there's been like rumors of him like. Creating like meme coins, shit coins, and like getting money and somehow moving funds around. Like, there's been a lot of like he's been doing things he hasn't been supposed to do while he's been out on <laughs> preparing for a jail sentence. He's not supposed to do that. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I so, think he uh, knew where he was going. Oh yeah, he knows he's going to jail. Yeah, um, yeah, and I don't remember exactly how it was a Ponzi scheme at this point, but they obviously no. Ponzi schemes are they're taking money that is not there and using it. You know, like they don't have enough funds. Like it's like you're taking paying investors by taking new money, but you don't have the money that's really there. So if everyone tries to cash out at once, you're insolvent. Yeah. So he was in some 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 white collar. Uh, basically, it, it's crypto, but it's stock. <laughs> essentially, it really is. Some, what he was doing is what people in stocks essentially do. But uh, it, it, it is, it is, and that's why the government is also cracking down on this stuff. Well, I don't, I don't know. So they locked him up. How many years is he getting? Well, he's just he, he's they just revoked his bail, so he has to sit in jail while he waits trial now. Yeah. So he like he ended up uh, talking to a New York Times reporter about like his co-conspirator mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like a witness, and they're saying that he was doing like witness intimidation or witness something or like whatever. So they but. I think I think it was due to some of the other stuff he's been doing, but that's how they like got him. That's how they got him. Well, I I imagine that one of the stipulations was that he couldn't participate in that kind of stuff because if you're brought up on charges for your uh your misdealings in in the crypto stock space, I imagine that you probably are like, hey, you should probably you call can't it. do deal with that. Yeah. yeah, it's like a hacker being like, oh yeah, dude, you can still get online while you're waiting a trial. Yeah, oh, right. you're, you're you can't act, you can't use computers. While yeah, you're or like you're on, you're on trial for you know sexual harassment, but they keep catching you at high schools for some reason. It's like, come on, why man. does sexual harassment have to do with the high school? I mean, you know, is I that what's I mean, is that in your experience? <laughs> I had to I had to be very co- coded with the wording so that I don't f up the algorithm. I don't know if you know this. I don't even know what algorithms are. <laughs> There's a certain words you can't say. Oh, you gotta be careful. Like remember when you couldn't talk about COVID because that would get you struck off of YouTube? Did it? Yeah. When, wait, hold on. Yeah. When was yeah. that? Yeah. We talked about COVID a lot. Is there's, that why our channel a, sucks? I mean, it could be. Okay. There's a whole like disin, uh, disinformation about people like, oh, I know what'll fix your COVID. And oh, drink some bleach. No, no it was what was it? The, it wasn't ketamine. What was the stuff? It was the horse trank. No, not the horse trank. Oh, uh, Ivermectin. Confifi. Ivermectin was the, was yeah, the yeah, drug. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that. But uh, I don't. Yeah, that's it. That's interesting, man. So he's probably gonna go away for a long. How long do you think he's gonna get? If you just give me a ballpark, how, how many I years? Would, I would. I mean, he, you think life? Lots of charges. So it. I mean, it, it won't be life, but it'll be enough time that it'll be his life, and then they'll let him out after about three years. <laughs> yeah, and then he'll go back to all of his investments. Yep. And be rich. Yep. Yeah. All I mean, right, he, he's already rich. I mean, so like. You know, this that, that that proposes like a weird question. Like, you know, there are people that do this. This has happened many, many times. And it's like, would you rather have like 
say 10 years or as long as you can make it work of like just ridiculous riches. They were saying that they were like him and all the people that ran the thing were in the Bahamas. They were all like polyamorous and having these like orgies and stuff. And like, mm. so they had all this money, sex parties. Like, I mean, the weird thing is they were all just a bunch of like nerds essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, so like, if you knew, I mean, eventually you knew that like it, the jig would be up, you know what I mean? Like they caught me. <laughs> The jig would be up. I mean, yeah. So, like, yeah, it's it's like, is it worth? Is the fruit worth the squeeze? Right? Like, all the money you could want, anything you can have, but you know you're gonna get caught and go to jail. I would say is that I think there is levels to wealth in this country. All right, this is just like a, a instant revelation. But I think there's a levels of wealth. There's like. Our wealth, which is basically dirt poor. Plebes. Yeah, you know, basically like middle class or whatever. And then you have like... I mean, there's even lower level than us, though. No, absolutely. hundred. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just putting this up there so that people feel sorry for us. Maybe give to my... Oh, yeah, my, Patreon. Yeah, yeah, maybe cash give to our, Maybe give to my cash app, TNT Dynamite 777. Hey, hook up the cash app. TNT Dynamite 777. And then there's people above us, obviously, who are like well-to-do, like or like Austinites who drive around in Tesla's yeah, and Mercedes. Yeah, they make like 200K a year or whatever. And right? then you got those people who are millionaires, but there's a chance that they got their millions through some means that were necessarily, you know, maybe not the most legal. All right? Okay. Those people are living, teetering on that edge, like waiting for the day that maybe something could happen. Maybe they make it their whole life and they coast through. You got people above them who maybe have made their money through through billionaires. and But I feel like everybody has a little something on their record once you get to a certain level of wealth. And it's just, can I have enough wealth where I can make that disappear? Can I Do I have enough wealth where I can mitigate that loss? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. There's no great fortune without a great crime. Right. right, 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 right. Like, like you can inherit like a hundred thousand dollars, and it's not. There's probably no like, you know, know pe man. people can save up a hundred k over their life. Like, yeah, you know, you know yeah. what I mean. But like, if but like, if all of a sudden you come up and make like five mil off of something, yeah, like yeah. you either got real lucky, unless it's the lottery. Yeah, right. But I guess what's what's funny that you say that about the levels is I was watching I was watching this show. It's about like I don't know. It's big. It's like uh, it's uh, Succession. It's a show about like this guy who owns like a media company, and he's sure. and uh, all it's like and all of his kids are involved in the company, and he's gonna get ready to retire, and they all want to take over the company, but there's like scandals and stuff. Anyways, regardless, they're very like very very rich, like they own this giant stock company essentially. Oh okay. yeah. And there was this guy uh, that was like part of the family or something, and he was like, oh yeah, da da da, like they they disowned me. <laughs> Uh, you know, and he was gonna give me s such and such money. He's like, but but he said he'd give me like five mil or whatever. And they're like, five mil, five mil, Greg. They were like, that's like a baby millionaire. It's not even worth being a millionaire with that money. You have enough money that you don't have to work, but you can't do anything with that money. Yeah, like you that's know, so true. Like, like, and it's like for you or I, somebody gave us five mil, we'd be good. Yeah, I'd be good. But like, if you have a hundred mil and someone's like, I got five mil, you're like. Okay, what are you going to do with that? Buy, no, buy a house and that's it. That's Nothing. it. That's it. You Sit go on a couple lit. trips with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got to, you got to chill. <laughs> yeah, once you get up in that upper echelon, three figure millions. Yeah, so yeah. like I still I say there's levels, and and when I say like uh, that behind every uh, great fortune there's a great crime, I just mean is that to get to that level of wealth, you have to step on somebody's neck. You got to do something a little immoral, whether it be against a certain community, whether it be against a certain person, whether or it be against a, another business. That's what I was going to say. Another business. You stepped on somebody's neck. You crushed somebody's dreams. Maybe make, not even intentionally, but yeah, probably intentionally. Well, right. Well, cause like, because you, you got you got to be competitive. If you, if have you to. are in the insurance industry and you own the company or you run the company and you do something to differentiate yourself from the comp competition and you exactly. take half their customers. You didn't just go steal their customers. You just ran yeah. a better business and the customers came yeah, to you. And, and that's what capitalism is. Capitalism is cutthroat. It has to be. Though. Yeah. It it's whoever be. is the best quote yeah. will, yeah. will get the best, you know? Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of like thievery and backstabbing. And exactly. scandal and that. We call that cheating. We call oh, that. that it is? Yeah. We call that. The problem is, is that, that mentality has infiltrated our government. That is the that is the worst part. Yes. I was thinking about this last night. I don't really know how much time we have. None. 
None? Okay. Well, then I'll hold it. But I do think is that the American culture of capitalism is is highly detrimental to the way that it's we live. It's the far right capitalism. I don't. I, I can't really. Not, not that it. Not that it relates to far right politics. But if you're going to take no, capitalism okay, and okay. swing it all the way to one side, that's the kind of capitalism. Yeah, okay. America okay. Runs. Yeah. That's not yeah, that okay. it's related to far okay. right all politics. Right, yeah, all yeah. Right, all right. I got you. Yeah. yeah but we then, we yes, are 100%. extreme in yes. our capitalism. Yes. Cutthroat yes. at all costs. Yeah. yeah it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So. But anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecreatetown.com for Jonas. TNT. We have.